All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahshai, Bashim Makar Kwadash. And I give double honors to the Apostle Elders, which are the Apostle Elders at Great Millstone, and to you, hopeful elect that's coming in these last days, that's being sealed by the faith that Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai has given to us. May Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai strengthen this truth, man, and grow it so we may get the hell up out this place. Because <laughs> I know brothers is ready to go, man. You know, we got to work these fucking bullshit jobs. You know what I'm saying? We got to be under the, the, the guise of our enemies. Nothing, nothing, nothing's, we ain't building nothing here, man. Everything is just for folly, you know? It's slavery, that's all it is. Uh, but on a uh, lighter note, I wanted to go into a subject. I was um, watching the Apostle's video and the scripture came up and uh, something stuck out to me. And uh, the title of this is gonna is gonna be Rejoice in the remembrance of the Lord, man. All right, we need to rejoice in the remembrance of the Lord, because we're at a time where we we lost this truth. We didn't know who we was. We were just niggas. We were we were spicks. We were Latinos. We were all types of bywords and reproaches. Now the Lord seemed fit to give us back who we are who we are back again, which is a blessing, which is a great mercy and and uh, uh, love. Because we didn't, we don't deserve what we, what we are, Yasharala, which is the prince of the power. All right, we don't deserve the title that we have, but the Lord in His mercy has given it back to us. All right, so that's what the the, the message now, because you know we get. I've done so, uh, lessons before on just being down and being happy, but this is just another aspect of saying, man, rejoice, rejoice in the remembrance of the Lord, man. We we we're, we're being redeemed back. It, from 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 being nothing, from being destroyed totally, and now the Most High is coming to the hopeful elect and waking up their minds to the to the fact of who they are, and then what? They, and then it's going to be physically happen that He's going to take out His elect. So it's happening spiritually now, but then it's going to manifest into physical. All right. So I'm gonna start off with the verse. It's the Book of Psalms, ninety-seven. It's the Psalms 97 and 12. And it says, I'll start at 11. It says, light is shown, light is, sh is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. And who is that speaking to? That's speaking to the elect because they're the ones that's going to receive this truth and, and, and was sown righteousness in them. They, they are the ones that was chosen before the foundation of the earth to receive this knowledge wisdom and understanding and to, to believe in it because that's how it says it says faith cometh by hearing so as we hear this truth and we realize that uh, who we are back and we believe in it we're going to come back to us that's righteousness that's been sown in us <laughs> like i was telling the brother it said the most high put a back door key into the, uh, the elect to go past their wickedness because we're programmed to be to go off but there's something in the elect that allows them to put the faith in it and, and to believe upon Yahweh Shai and to hopefully be saved. And it says, The light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. See? So that's the remembrance of his holiness. And we're remembering his holiness now because what did he do? He, he, he told us that if we put if we if we follow his law, statutes and commandments, <coughs> that he would set us on high, that he would give us a land flowing with milk and honey, that we would be allowed to, to, to live as a nation and to, to, to flourish under his law, statutes and commandments and under his rule. But we want we went against that. We went backwards. So now the most High, when the most High cast us off from being his people, he sent his son back, which is Yahweh Shai which redeemed us back to him. So now we're in the time of remembering his holiness. By what? The sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did. That's the way that we're remembering that holiness that, that Yahweh uh, Shai has set for us. Because that's how we're coming back to him. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, how would we know the truth? The comforter wouldn't be here, which is the which is these scriptures, man. That's why it says, comfort, ye, comfort one, and, one another with these words. These words and Yahusha comes in the volume of the book. So as we comfort in each other, we're comforting each other with first and foremost with Yahusha. 
knowing that he sacrificed himself to give us the opportunity to come back to the father. He's being that that uh, uh, mediator for us. All right. And uh, I'm going to go into some of these words. The word there for rejoice is uh, shamak. And it says to make glad. So when the most high, when when you come in this truth and you realize what 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 you're in, of course, you're going to get down. You're going to beat yourself up. You're going to get in the mode of, you know, in the flesh. But the, at the other hand, we always got to remember to re, to rejoice to make ourselves glad that, that the Most High has come back to us. No matter in the world that we live, we almost got to remember and say, look, the Wadi Yahabashim Yahshua for coming back to us, for redeeming us, for having mercy on us, and for allowing us to know your name and to believe upon your name. Because you got guys that are taking the name out of play. They're taking the sign out of play. That's a part of the Most High uh, righteousness also. Knowing who everybody is according to their tribe with their father with the line of their father All right, so we're remembering that now and we're coming back to him and and we need to like it says it was your mind to go astray Coming back seek him ten times more Okay Because we didn't take happiness when we had Yahabashimiyasha by our side. We took it for granted That's why we went off into idolatry. We committed uh, uh, we broke the law statutes and commandments and we fell under the curse. But that was all by design. But now coming back to the Lord, we should we should what? Rejoice in it. Make ourselves glad. And the word there for righteousness is uh, uh, Tazadak. All right. And it says just justified, uh, the justified. Uh, um, it's the uh, justify, uh, justified by set, set to be justified, which is the elect. All right. That's the word where it, 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 it makes they're predestinated okay that's that righteous it's going into the elect and the word there for um remember is the car which means memory to have it in remembrance okay we knew what who we was in the ancient world and we lost that now remembering ourselves and remembering the law statutes and commandments and the covenant that we was given and it's coming to only israel all you other nations it ain't you ain't cut you ain't cutting it this ain't for you. This is only for the elect, the 144,000 and the one third of Israel that's been predestinated to taste of the a taste of salvation. Just like there was only a small number that made it through the first death, which was the flood and Noah's day. There's going to be a small number that make it through this death, which is going to be by fire, by the thermonuclear weapons and, and the door in the third world war and the angels coming in and, 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 and finishing off the rest. It's going to be it's going to be a, a, a wondrous act that's going to take place in these last days, man. All right. Let me get some of these verses and I'm going to close on out. I don't want to make this long. I just want to hit the point, man. You know, rejoice in this, you know, hopefully and, and pray that Yahabashim Yashah keep the spirit on us to maintain to the very end, you know, so we can see the downfall of our enemy. You know, we don't want to be caught up with him. You know, it's one thing to hate Esau, but then turn around and get caught up with him in the judgment. That, that, that'd that be hell, man. You know, so hopefully we keep integrity and keep our faith until the end. This is uh, Psalms 4 and verse 7. It says, Thou has put gladness in my heart more than in the time of Salakia. Thou, thou has put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. And what's the one, what's the modern day corn and wine? Is this truth? The wisdom, knowledge. That's the corn and wine that's increased. So the Most High has put that gladness in our heart through that corn and wine. Okay? But it, it, David was given the analogy of being more happier than that time of corn and wine. Because harvest is a happy season. You got more food, you know. You're, you're able to, 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 you know, you got a little cushion. And especially in the ancient world. And it says, Thou has put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their, that, that, that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay, it says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, Lord, only makest me to dwell in safety. All right, and that's this truth. We're dwelling in safety of this truth. That's why it also says, hide me in, in thy pavilion. You know, that's under his wings. That's why it says he, he shall come with healing in his wings. All right, this is Psalms 30 and verse four. And it says, sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. See? So give thanks, man. 
we're remembering the Most High's holiness through these scriptures and through the prophecies that's coming to pass. And it says, for his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And that's what's coming, man. That's why it says uh, 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 at the noonday, I'm, I'm thinking of the verse, but the mo hey, Yahushua's coming, man. He's that He's that day star that's going to rise and save us from this, this, this hell that we're living in, man. We can't go on too much long, longer under Esau. The world can't. The world is breaking apart under this man's rulership. That's why it says those days shall be shortened or there should be no flesh remaining. All right, this is 2 Peter's. This is 2 Peter's 3 and verse 1. This is 2 Peter's 3 and verse 1. And it says, this second epistle, beloved, I write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. And that's what we remember in ourselves and remembering who we are and the covenant that we had with Yah Bashim Yah Shah, man. All right. And we've been had this covenant and now the Lord is giving it back to us, man. All right. Which is a beautiful thing. It says in the second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of the apostles of the Lord and Savior. All right, and that's what we're coming now. We're remembering who we are and going back to the law, statutes, and commandments like we were supposed to. All right, I got one more precept and I'm gonna close on out. This is the book of First Peter, two and eleven, and it says, "Dearly beloved, I beseech you, as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against." You as evildoers, they might, be, they may be a you They may, they may by your good works, which they they shall behold, glorify your power in the day of visitation. And then, and the Lord is visiting us now by the Spirit, but it's going to be physically in a minute, man. And it's not going to be nice because this place is going to be turned upside down, man. So with that, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh by Shem Shai. Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakar Kodash. Shalom, Akim, keep faith. We're almost home. And like the title of this video says, rejoice in the remembrance of his holiness. Shalom.